today i will talk about information flow and coordination in supply chain this is part of my series of lecture on supply chain management this is my lecture outline first i will talk about role of information in supply chain then supply chain visibility its introduction types and benefits then lack of coordination in supply chain causes and effects bullwhip effect introduction causes and impacts of bullwhip effect so as we have seen in my previous lectures uh, these are various uh, facilities in uh, supply chain and information flow is bidirectional in supply chain so hardware and software used throughout the supply chain is used to gather analyze and transmit information this is needed to make good decisions information is said to be the glue that holds supply chains together without information the managers will not know the demand of the customers and the stock of inventory available a good web based it system allows performance to be optimized for the entire supply chain so good information should uh, in system should be real time where customers can track their orders it should be a paperless information system and it should be a standardized information system now let us see what is supply chain visibility supply chain visibility is the ability to track different goods in transit from supplier to manufacturer to consumer giving a clear view of the inventory and activity supply chain visibility may refer to visibility both inside and across a partner network so what are the types of supply chain visibility it may be visibility of materials or product or cargo location it may be visibility of costs or rates there may be availability of past records for auditing it may be visibility of other supply chain activities like order tracing etc so what are the benefits of supply chain visibility if supply chain is visible it meets customer demands it boosts customer satisfaction there is data driven result availability there is increased speed supply chain become agile there is improved efficiency there is reduction in risk and there is increase in profit now let us see coordination in supply chain so supply chain management as we have seen is the planning and coordination of activities from procurement to production and to consumption of course coordination between various supply chain activities or facilities is a strategic response to various challenges so coordination is very important aspects in supply chain management so what are the causes of lack of supply chain coordination causes include lack of information sharing and visibility in the supply chain we have seen about supply chain visibility then uh, other cause is lack of proper supply chain integration inability to adapt to events in real time poor planning inability to fully figure out the impact of planned actions local optimization of parts of the supply chain instead of entire supply chain lack of process and quality control so these are causes of supply chain coordination lack so what are the effects of lack of supply chain coordination so 
when whenever there is lack of supply chain coordination there may be large demand and supply fluctuations resulting in the need for high inventories to prevent stock out there is poor customer service as all demands might not be met production scheduling and capacity planning becomes difficult due to large order changes extra manufacture expansion is needed to meet peak demand high cost for large and expected orders is another effect of lack of coordination then uh, expedited shipments and overtime and conflict between supply chain players so these are the effect of lack of supply chain coordination now let us see what is bull whip effect the bull whip whip effect or whiplash effect is an observed phenomena in forecast driven distribution channels it occurs because the demand for goods is based on demand forecast rather than the actual demand the concept is also known as forrester effect so what is bull whip so it is like since the oscillating demand magnification upstream a supply chain reminds someone of a cracking whip it becomes famous as bull whip effect so it is a oscillating demand magnification upstream in supply chain so i found this uh, very nice sketch from this site known as sketchplanations.com so uh, so it is a very good illustration of a, a bull whip effect it is like a whip uh, where the demand is you, uh, is amplified uh, from the customer to the suppliers so what are the causes of bull whip effect it is order batching because the uh, upstream uh, entities or facilities in supply chain they batch the order so uh, it become oscillating or amplified then uh, there may be shortage gaming and there may be demand forecast inaccuracies so in order to mitigate the risk they order more uh, the higher elements in supply chain so what are the impacts of bull whip effect inefficient production is the impact excessive inventory as producer needs to fulfill the demand of its predecessors in the supply chain low utilization of the distribution channel hazards of stock out resulting in poor customer service leads to a row of financial cost the damage of public image and loyalty in an organization it may lead to contract penalties there may be hiring and dismissal of employees due to fluctuation in demands so these are the impacts of bull whip effect so this is all for today thank you very much